if it's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give him the gold glove right now. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Hammered! Deep left center field! Way back! Goodbye! Wow! Adrian Beltre and their Angels walk it off! Seven to six! season in the making what a moment and a career of extraordinary moments he's done it again 10th inning 3-3 Dodgers and Rockies 0-1 oh, to Charlie swung on a high fly ball to deep left field the Dodgers and Yankees if you believe a home run and the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game win. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Mets. It's a battle of top-tier pitchers next on the show. Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. In now is John Jay. First shot for him here. Two hits and five trips a night ago. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hard on the ground towards short. Cabrera's there. And a good throw gets him one down. And with that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Here's Jason Hayward now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's gone four for nine. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. To short. Taken there by Cabrera. On to first, and there were two down. Now with the plate, Chris Bryant. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Well, the way I see Ed, he gets a lot of respect for his strike zone. There's not a lot of umpires in the league that have the kind of respect he does. He's consistent, he's got a great zone, and he's well respected across the board. The payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying Batting in bed. Four. A pitch away Great from posting a zero in the first, Anthony and he makes a big mistake, Rizzo. and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. 
Anthony Rizzo stands in now. It was a three hit effort from him last night so he was a big part of that victory. The one and two pitch. Again he sends it out of play. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Three. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. Danger averted following the two out double. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Jake Arietta, the Missouri born right hander gets the job of starting pitcher here. H.R. what's the word on him. Well Matt we're catching a hot pitcher today. He's won his last three outings that he's been on the mound walked away with the W. Team's playing good behind him and he's given him a chance to win games. So digging in now Curtis Granderson power a big part of his game as he enters this contest number five in the National League home run race. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Well, Harold, as we take a look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And Matt, you know, you look at their split right now, but they lost the first game one to second one. So you're looking at momentum is on their side. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards them here in this third game. Well, this is the recipe they want. Their pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the inning. Good start. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. He's running toward second on the ground near home. No problem here, one away. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, I think you have to be a little bit concerned about the struggles we're seeing from David Wright. He had only one home run last month, so if you're looking at a guy in the middle of the order with just one homer, your team's not going to score a lot of runs. He's got to turn on the power in this lineup if this team wants to have any success at all. Settling in now, Michael Conforto comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready with the one and one. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never hey, give the home hey, crowd a reason to get involved hey, hey, hey. early and don't right. put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. Into the box, David Wright. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location, right down the middle, but he got away with it. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. First and second now, one man out. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Man, that is such a wasted opportunity. Two on, one out. Perfect situation to induce a grounder and get out of the inning, but instead he's wild, and both runners advance, taking the double play situation away. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? And another foul ball. Runners are at second and third with one down. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. 
One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. He pulls this one into right. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 2 nothing ball game. Well, you love to jump out to an early lead in the first inning right there. Two runs will give you that little bit of cushion to see if the game gets into a good flow for you. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Now in the box, TJ Rivera. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So two runs on two base hits, no errors, and two men left on base. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Mets two, and the Cubs nothing. Here's Ben Zobris now. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at Asdrubal Cabrera. Does he still make the routine play? Yes. But man, when he was young, he can make the highlight reel play with the best of them. So fun to watch. So striding forward now, Addison Russell. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Granderson ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. Around second now and headed for third. And he will make it into third with a one out triple. Well, Matt, that's his sixth Not game. He's got a base hit in now. You got to start a streak 40. somewhere. I start paying attention Wilson, about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras career numbers versus Syndergaard one for four and that's upstairs running the count to three and one HR these Mets as they enter play here tonight despite the loss last time out they'd won four in a row so they'd been on a nice little roll here and Matt you always want to win two of the three games I mean today is a big game because you walk away and you start adding up those numbers in the series you go we won two out of three there that's the goal for every team to win two out of three in the series. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two to one game. The pitcher number 49. Stepping into the Jake box. Arietta. Jake Arietta. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider three. called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Mets two and the Cubs one. Here's Juan Ligares. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And this is going to be a foul ball. 
the next 0 2. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Now another 0 2. Drilled right back up the middle. And a throw on by Zobris gets him at first for out number one. Let's take a look at the Cubbies defensively brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Coming to the plate now, Noah Sindergaard. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's Zobris now at second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. The right fielder number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And we'll go back to the top of the lineup now for Curtis Granderson. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. That's what makes this guy so great. A pitch right on the corner. Most people cannot do that. Seems like he does it anytime he sits back there. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. So coming to the plate, Matt Caesar. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well it's still early but it's also worth now noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there he in fact leads the NL in that category. Striding in once again John Jay 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the pitch. Well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh man he just tied him up in knots right there. This one's down to third. Lights got it. Throw on to first two gone. Now back it. Ready for right another fielder. chance. Jason, Jason Hayward. Hayward. 0 for one for him here in this one. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. One and two, here it comes. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. They're down 2-1. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. He'll lead it off against Jake Arietta. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. And he just misses with a curveball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Into the upper deck, but foul. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Sinker, 3-2 and two now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Well, I think that might have been ball four, but you never want the umpire to decide that. Go ahead and let it fly. Left fielder, Michael Conforto.
Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Ready on one and two. Runners on the move for second. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Hit hard back up the middle. Russell has it. Zobrist on to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Hey, it's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result, a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Digging in for his second at bat, David Wright. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And that slider is almost in the dirt. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Tries to dump this one out to left. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Well, there's a little two out base hit. Maybe start a little two out rally. Now he's giving up some oh, runs. He's a little vulnerable. We've seen him give up runs already in this game. So maybe this is a start of something big. In now, Lucas Duda. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Rene Rivera. Two on, two out for him here in the third. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. On the ground, up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning. And he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. Standing in now, T.J. Rivera. Nope, that's a ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. And that's two free passes in the Center third inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. And he misses two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself in trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Oh, and this could be trouble now. It's three and one. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1. And now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. And a 2 2 sinker falls in there. 3 and 2 now. Arietta sets. Here's the three and two. And this is fouled at the plate. Oh, 
The next three two. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. So one run on three hits no errors and they leave the bases loaded three innings complete the Mets lead it three to one. Here's Chris Bryant now he'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Rivera onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Squared that one up just a little late. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Another 1 2 delivery. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Into the box now, Ben Zobrist. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Striding into the box, Noah Syndergaard comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Pitch on the way. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Waiting next is Curtis Granderson. And he misses with it, ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. Well, when you go with a slider there in a full count, you're nice hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Number 13, Asdrubo. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Fernando Rodriguez answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. As Dribble Cabrera will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Sacrifice attempt here. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. The left fielder, number three. Ready once again, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Come on, 1 and 1, here it is. 
This is pulled into right. Hayward is there. Let's see if they test it. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. In now, David Wright. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but Wright able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Hit sharply, but caught down there at third. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. We played four full. The Mets are out on top, four to one. Here's Addison Russell. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The catcher, number 40. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He hit a sack fly earlier. One and one, here it comes. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, and get it going. So he racks up the Arnando swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Wilson Contreras goes down for out number two in the top half. Stepping in now, Fernando Rodriguez. Softly hit out to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. They trail it four to one. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the left-handed hitting slugger Lucas Duda starts out the inning. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. All even at two and two. Here it is. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting, catcher. Rene so stepping Rivera. in, Rene Rivera. He singled his last time up. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 to one ball game. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The three, two, one more time. Line drive to center field, and that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Back to back line drives. Now, the first guy was out, but man, they're swinging the bat pretty good. These two second guys saw him pretty good. Let's see what happens now. Ready for another shot now. T.J. Rivera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Runners off for second. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Mets four and the Cubs one. Striding in once again, Matt Caesar. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. 
Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. But yeah, Matt, really. that's the advantage of John getting ahead in the count. Jay. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Grounded to right at third. Backhanded. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. Right fielder. Here's Jason Hayward Jason now. Hayward. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Lazy fly ball out to center field. In there, a base hit. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in for you. When you're cold, that gets caught. This is a hot streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Ready for another chance? Chris Bryant. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Slider and he touches 90 with that one. It's one and two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Hit on the ground toward the left. Played on the backhand. And a close play at first, but he's called out of the side is retired. Cubs strand one. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Here's Juan Ligares. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, that pulled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Ligaris is retired, and there's one away. Up next for the Mets. Ready for another Noah. shot now. Noah, Noah Syndergaard. Syndergaard. He bats here with a three-run lead in inning number six. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Dribbled to the right side, but that one rolls foul. Now another one-two. Another one sent foul. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty right, solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Here's the one and one pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. 
There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Jay and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. Home run number 15 for him thus far as they stretch the lead to 5 1. I know height sights 20 20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Hayward has a read on it. And the inning is over. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's now five to one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard but you have to give credit to where it's deserved the pitching on the other side has been really impressive action in the Mets bullpen now it's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw uh, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now well that was a good change up right there you see how he swung through that ball man he's got him thinking now because that was clearly sorry, an indication ball. he was looking fastball and got fooled. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And it's now a 5 to 2 game. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Standing in now, Ben Zobrist. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Two runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Looking for his tenth strikeout. Here's the pitch. Grounded. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. Around second. He's on his way to third. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras. Granderson will come over to give it a look, but he's going to run out of room. It's a foul ball. Ready on one and two. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Another try at 2 2. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. The Cubs get a run courtesy of Anthony Rizzo. 
Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Mets five and the Cubs two. There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate. So it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Koji Uehara is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Number 19, Javier Baez is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. In now, Michael Conforto, 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball just a bit high. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fouled back. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Now another two two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, he needs a shutdown inning right here, and it's not starting the way he wants. He's already down in the count big time. The last thing you want to do is start the inning by walking a guy and turn the momentum back to the other team. There to take it is Jay, and he's got it for the first out. Third baseman, number five. Ready once David again, David Wright. Wright. His career numbers against this pitcher, one for four. Here's the one and one pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And a full count now, three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Jay giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. The first baseman, number 21, Lucas. Here's Lucas Duda, Duda now. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And a fastball just a bit up. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Slice down the left side, but foul. Two out, nobody on. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Caesar. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets lead this one 5-2. to two. Here's Javier Baez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Here's the one and two delivery. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, Matt Caesar. I had him lunging there as he's just able to tap it foul at home plate. The 2 2 one more time. Cabrera there for this one at short. 
on to first, and there were two down. In now is John Jay, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail 5-2. Carl Edwards Jr. is on to pitch out of the bullpen the in the bottom half Number of the six, eighth. Carl Edwards Jr. Digging in and looking for more, Rene Rivera. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. And the pitch on two and one. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Here's the pitch on two and two. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. TJ Rivera will be next. Crowd gets up for the three two. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. And that brings up the catcher TJ Rivera. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Here it comes on one and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Hayward will put this one away for out number two. Center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Ligares. Lagares. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. Swung on and lifted down the left field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, he got himself on a good hitter's count and hit that changeup. Maybe he had a good scouting report, but he tries to pitch backwards. Going to throw off-speed pitches in fastball counts and fastballs in the breaking ball count. Jose Reyes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Jose Reyes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Two and one now to Reyes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's a look over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Ligaris runs. This is on the ground over to first. And trouble aboard now is that's a base hit for Reyes. Tag and they got him as he couldn't make it first to third on the base hit to right. And the inning is over. Met strand one. And it remains five to two. Jerry Scramilia takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door. Jerry Scramilia. Here's Jason Hayward now. Lifetime against Familia. One for four. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready with two balls and a strike. Out of play off to the right. All even at two and two. Here it is. Smoke toward third. There to get it is right. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Third baseman. 
Bryant digging in once again. Chris Bryant. He was a ground out victim last time up. One out, nobody on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Oh, and it's off the foul ball in right for a home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Number 13 for him on the year, and it's a 5-3 game now. Well, some might consider this a cheap home run because he didn't exactly crush it, but he got enough of it to doink it off the foul pole, and that's all it takes. And guess what? It looks like a bomb in the box score tomorrow. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. There's a swing and the ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Here's the one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. In now, Ben Zobrist, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you throw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3, the final. Noah Syndergaard wins his league-leading 10th game of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Jake Arrieta worked only three innings in the losing effort. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save, his 17th on the year. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. Fly ball, center field, NCRT on the run, still going on the way to track at the wall, he got it, NCRT caught it the wall, and the Braves have beaten the Mets, incredible catch to save the game, and the Braves have stunned New York tonight, they've stunned a lot of people tonight, maybe the catch of the year right there.